news was in Gishu County. Mm, for those of us who worked with him, we know exactly the kind of person he was. I remember doing a story about victims of Kiamba Church in Eldoret. And he will be remembered as a peacemaker, having played a pivotal role in quelling tension in Eldoret and the larger Rift Valley in the 2007 post-election violence. Let's now take a look at the life and times of the bishop. Says political standoffs and clashes almost every five years when presidential elections are anticipated or held. And as far back as 1992, the late Eldoret Catholic Diocese Bishop Cornelius Correr has walked in these pinching shoes. Transparency and accountability of IBC is so important. So in this case, if there are any doubts, they should be sorted out. And starting from the North Rift in the early 90s, Korir went on to address conflict issues in areas such as Molo, Burnt Forest, and flare-ups in Transnzoia, West Pokot, and Maraquet. Bishop Korir also stepped up in the 2007 and 8 post-election violence, sheltering hundreds of internally displaced people right into the church compound. Korir's attention to the plight of the common man has seen him question governments of the day on their priorities and attention to the common man. It is the duty of every government to look after its people. So that means the Minister, the minister of Agriculture seems to have been sitting. There is no plan for food store. But who exactly is Bishop Cornelius Korir and where did he come from? Born 67 years ago in Segutiet, Bomet County, he was the fourth in a family of eight children. Young Korir and his family lived 23 kilometers away from the closest Catholic church ran by Mill Hill missionaries at Kaplong. This distance meant the family could attend mass only once a month. Between 1959 and 1970, he studied at Chesoen and Segutiet primary schools, his interest in priesthood crafting his path to Mothers of Apostles Minor Seminary in Eldoret and St. Augustine Major Seminary in Bungoma. Korir earned diplomas in theology, philosophy and religious studies before heading to St. Patrick's College in Scotland for a degree in sacred theology and in 1989. His ordination as bishop in 1990 was quickly followed by the eruption of clashes in 1991 and 1992, a path that shaped his peacemaking efforts and became a hallmark for the rest of his 27 years as bishop. Korir will also be remembered as an author on Peace Matters, founder of Upendo FM in the North Rift, an innovative mind in securing livelihood for the underprivileged, a man of peace, and most importantly, a man of God. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.